I'm very excited. This whole pink place is a, incredible. I can't believe this. It's a show on Apple that is, tells the story of Maxine uh, trying to befriend all of these women in this really exclusive club and all of the lives that sort of weave in and out and there's mystery and it's funny, it's sad and it's beautiful to look at and it's just a fun ride. Maxine is a woman who is trying uh, very desperately to be a part of high society Palm Beach in 1969. She inspired me so much with sketch comedy and just, she's amazing. She had her own show and being a woman at that time, she's just very, I don't know, she's just incredible. Muriel is a, is a delicious adventure into the world of, of Palm Beach in the 1960s and society, women in high society and those who want to be a member of it, those who aren't. I play Evelyn Rollins, who is the, the queen of, um, of Palm Beach society, but worried that she may be toppled by those who are coming in after her. And, and um, yeah, she's desperate to hang on to her, her title. I mean, Kristen Wiig, Carol Burnett. We've got to have some comedy there. There's some dark things that happen too, but I think mostly it's, it's just going to be a fun romp. I like a dark comedy. I like things that are messy, that are not just a comedy, not just a drama. They're, they're messy, like life is. And then this is definitely messy, but in technicolor. Working with Apple TV Plus has been amazing. They've been incredibly supportive of every member of the creative team. It's been a joy, and I hope to do many more projects with them. Dida Donahue is climbing the ladder in, um, in Palm Beach, and um, Kristen's character is trying to uh, push me down. That's what she thinks. She's a woman who will do anything to hold on to her place in society because it's really all she has. And, it's, and it feels like a very tenuous slope for her. Our sets and our wardrobe are so, like, there are extra characters in every scene. And the authenticity, it adds and elevates the great writing and and makes acting in it so much easier because it's so true and so real. People will love Palm Royale because of the comedy, because of the level of excellency in, in acting, because the story talks about things that we can all relate. It doesn't matter if it was in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s, and today. Um, it will make you change the way you think about life. Robert is, is a secret holder. Robert is a person that knows everybody and that loves to protect everybody, but Robert is very fragile. Robert has a lot of secrets. Robert lives in shame. He's embarrassed about his past and his present also. And, uh, and he, he, finds, he finds comfort in, in Norma Delacour, which is Carol Burnett's ca uh, character. So it's really beautiful. I think it's exactly what the world needs at this moment. And, uh, and of course, with Apple TV Plus. I play Mitzi, a local manicurist, um, who meets Maxine through her visits to the salon and knows some of the women in high society in Palm Beach through her job. It was incredible. I mean, I just felt like I was a sponge absorbing everything that they had to offer. Everyone in the cast was so generous with me and it just felt like a master class in professionalism and creative freedom. I just felt so fortunate to be a part of it. It was like a heavyweight boxing match every day in the best way where, I mean, people were trying to out-professional each other. You'd get to work and everyone was early. Like, everyone was like, who was earlier that day? And obviously you have, you know, Carol Burnett who like, is the ultimate pinnacle of this job on so many levels, mainly because her talent is beyond, you know, exceptional, but her human soul is just so, so beautiful, and we all felt in awe of that. It's actually easily one of, if not the most fun show I've ever been a part of in my life. The cast that blew all of our minds, and you know, it's just it's such a special job. 
I didn't even read the script. They told me who was in it. I said, I'm in it. I don't care what you want me to do. And then I read the script, and that was the icing on the cake. Laura Dern is my producing partner, and I um, were given Juliet McDaniel's book by Katie O'Connell, um, and we read it and thought there's an incredible jumping off point for a delicious, decadent, comprehensively beautiful, imaginative world for women of all ages who are complicated, and what an opportunity. Everything about working at Apple TV Plus is the best. It is such a supportive, welcoming, creative first dynamic. Everyone we work with has just embraced the show from the beginning and has said yes and yes and yes and yes. Uh, Virginia is a feminist who owns a bookstore and she is a fish out of water in Palm Royale trying to find her place but also trying to be a beacon of light in this community while also <laughs> trying to you know keep it cool and cope aesthetic you know being black in 1969 is not the easiest and there's nobody around her that necessarily looks like her so she's trying to be empathetic grow but also hold space for other people at the same time you're gonna see things that are funny, things that are thrilling, things that are heartbreaking, things that are shocking, things that are a little scary. It's a wild ride. I play Ann Holiday. She is the editor of The Shiny Sheet, covers society, but she's also a member of the country club. So she's sort of in and on the outs at the same time. And she really is the first person to be an advocate for Maxine, Kristen Wiig's character, and sort of befriends her. I got a book from uh, Katie O'Connell, Laura Dern, Jamie Lemons, and Tate Taylor called Mrs. Am Mr. and Mrs. American Pie. And I just thought it was uh, the wonderful germ of an idea. Uh, and I love this main character. And I always wanted to set something in Palm Beach. So I said, what if we take this character and we plop her down into Palm Beach High Society? And, and Bob's your uncle. It's a melodrama, it's a drama, it's a comedy. It's got everything in the kitchen sink in it. Well, I call it a melodramedy. <laughs> it starts with wonderful producers like uh, Laura Dern and Kristen Wiig, and people want to work with them. And, they, and these other actors love the script, so uh, it, we were able to really create a, a family and um, a troop of actors, and, and this is a group of actors who love other actors.